Hello, Slim Jim fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. We uh, left off in the last episode talking about volume shadow copies, but how do we get at them? We need a mounted volume from an evidence file to see them in our evidence anyway. So we have an evidence file, and we're going to mount it using FTK Imager because that's the way most people mount this. So we point it at uh, an EO1 file that we've created, and we mount it with uh, uh, FTK Imager because that's what everybody does. And once we do that, we... Uh, go and check on our volume shadow service. And the way we do that is we can go to the command line and we go VSS admin list shadows. Well, this shadows for what? For uh, E drive, because that's where our image got mounted. And if I could type, this would go a lot better. And it says no items found that satisfy the query. So this might leave us with the idea that there are no volume shadow copies to be had. And that's a possibility. And we move on and we forget about volume shadow copies. However, in comes Arsenal Image Mounter to prove that FTK Imager is a liar, liar, pants on fire. We're going to mount that very same evidence file with Arsenal Image Mounter. Once it's mounted with Arsenal Image Mounter, we're going to go in and we're going to run that same command, only we're going to run it on F drive because that's where Arsenal Image Mounter mounted the evidence file to. Lo and behold, we see that we have three. One, two, three uh, evidence files or uh, volume shadow files. One, two, three. Cool things we get out of them. We get a volume shadow copy number, the machine it came from, and importantly, when it was created, which is good for us. This is UTC time. So what do we do with these? Well, how about if we could mount this as a symbolic link on our computer? So let's do that. We can go make link, and we're going to put this, we're going to create a directory at the C uh, uh, shadow copy. What are we going to call it? Shadow uh, copy and we're going to do number nine. Let's do number nine. Uh, and now we've got to tell it where to mount it from, where to start the mounting from. So we're going to go global root device hard disk volume shadow copy. And we said we were going to do number nine. And then this trailing backslash. If it works, it's going to just return us to the command prompt. But now when we go into our C drive, we see that shadow copy 9 is right there. And now we can see all of the user files. Big deal. Is there an easier way? Well, we can also image from here. If we have this mounted, we can create another forensic image of the volume shadow copy. But let's look into this deeper tomorrow, find an easier way to access it, and pull goodness out of it. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.